Welcome to the Local Gift Shop How-To Video Series. In this second video, we are going to cover how to load gifts. Now that you're a registered vendor, you can add, delete, or modify any gifts of yours on the site. And remember, we would be happy to do this for you at any time. So let's get started. Click on Login in the top left corner. Enter your login name or email you registered with. For this demonstration, we are going to use our Brownie vendor. Enter the password, hit enter or click on login. You are now brought to your account page. As a vendor, you are now also a registered shopper where you can purchase gifts and create wish lists. These addresses would be created should you be purchasing anything from the site. To access your vendor dashboard, Click on Go to Vendor Dashboard here. Or you can always access your dashboard at any time under the bottom right menu Vendors under Vendor Dashboard. Earlier when we created the vendor account, we added specific vendor details under these tab settings. Now we can add a product. Click on Products, Add Product. Type in the product name, keeping in mind any word search will look within the title for a match, so we want to make sure we use the word that best describes the gift. Key in a description. I will keep the description short for this demo, but you can also cut and paste from your Facebook or your website describing your product right into these fields. In the category field, you will add all the tags that relate to your gift. That way a shopper can find your gift by our search menu. Click in the category field and the list of available search items will be displayed. You can either scroll down and find the category you want, or you can key in the name of the category and it will be displayed for you. This makes it easier to add several to a gift quickly. The first category should include what kind of business you are, whether you are home-based, Main Street, or Farmer's Market. We will click in Home-Based Business for now. Now let's add all the other category tags we would like to associate with our brownies. Some that come to mind would be anything related to food. So food and drinks. If I hit enter, the very first category listed will be entered into the field. Hostess, a thank you gift, Halloween for her, and how about grandmother? Most items, if they are for her, you can be specific as speci uh, for her as general and all gifts tagged for her would come up if you choose searching for her, but if you're searching just for grandmother, this gift would also appear. With locations, you only need to enter the town you reside in, even if you ship nationally. You want to let the shopper choose vendors that are in their area and perhaps pick up a gift today. If you have gifts in more than one location, or you are close to multiple areas, then by all means enter all of them. If the location is missing from our list, please choose the closest one and then let us know and we will add that location to the list for you. Again, open the search field by clicking on it. Either start typing your location or scroll down to locate it. As you can see, we have quite a bit. In this case, I will enter Aurelia. For the product image, click on Set Featured Image. This will bring you to the media library. And similar to the logo upload we covered in the vendor setup, you only need to choose a preloaded image or click on Upload Files and browse for your image and add to the library. Click on a particular image you would like to enter. 
and then click on Set Product Feature Image. You can add additional images of the product by simply clicking on the Add Product Gallery Images. These images are related to the same product, not to be confused with a brand new product at a different price. We'll select a different image and add to the gallery. The product type is very important since this handles the cart and online sh uh, shipping and, and online purchasing. If you leave it as simple product, an option to purchase through our cart system will be available for this product and then you will have to make sure you have a Stripe account set up. If you wish to set up a Stripe account, please see our other video on how to set up a Stripe account shopping online. Open the drop down menu and you will see a few options that you can select. With the external affiliated product, this turns off the cart. If you wish to direct the purchase to your own online store cart, enter the product URL under this field. You simply need to go to your site, go to the product cart, copy the URL, cut and paste, and paste it into this field. The button text is your own description you can add instead of add to cart, that because you are directing the buyer to your site. So something like, something like purchase this product or buy this product is a common one that is used. Enter the regular price. It is strictly a dollar and cents amount. You can describe if that's per each or per dozen in your product description, but under the price it is strictly a numerical value. You can also add a sale price here, as well as a schedule to determine when the sale is starting and ending. The tax status and class will default to the province you are in. You can also exclude taxes or add them only to shipping. In this case, we will leave the standard default. Additional settings include Use Extra Gallery for this product. This will activate the additional images of the product to be displayed while hovering over the main image. Add this product to Special Offers Carousel is handy when you have several gifts loaded in your store and you want to show a few for special reasons. It will then be on the top in a carousel in your store. Before you add the product or save draft, there are still some other settings that we can set up. We were under the General tab. Now let's take a look at the Attributes tab. The Attributes tab is for things that would have colors or sizes to the products. In this case, you can say that if this was like a sweater, for example, you can add the attribute colors for the shoppers to choose from. Then you would, you would choose which items pertain to your color and your, and your product. But with brownies, we won't have any of these added. So we're going to remove the attribute colors. Other attributes are sizes. Again, you would click on Add and you would choose the item that pertains. Perhaps you just have large and medium. You would add these in as attributes. But for now, with brownies, we're just doing this general tab setup. If you did have attributes, you would need to specify that 
under variable product. So sweaters or anything with sizes or colors is a little bit of a different setup. You can also hide this from the catalog. For example, if you're out of stock or you're not, it hasn't arrived yet, but you've set it up, you can always click on private listing, hide this from the catalog, and it will not show up on site. You can also, until you're ready, save it as a draft. But for now, we are going to add the product. This brings you to the screen where you can add another product and follow the same format as I just showed you. Let's take a look at the product by clicking on View Product. Congratulations! Your gift is now listed as a new product with the local gift shop. If at any time you need to change or add more products, just go to your vendor dashboard and click on Add Product. Now that you have a product, you can do all sorts of things and, and by editing, when you list your product, click if you need to make any changes, click on Edit and it will bring you back to the product page. So by clicking on products on this tab menu, it will list all your products for you. From there, we can actually add coupons to these products. And you can create a coupon code Let's take a look how it looks. So by clicking on the logo, the local gift shop is brought to the home page and there's your product displayed as a new product. Make sure you go back and take a look and make sure everything is set up properly. So if I click on this product that we just loaded, you will notice there is no add to cart. We're just displaying it for now. It ships from Aurelia, Ontario. It's sold by Just Brownies for You. Here are the categories that we entered. And if you find you've missed something or you want to add more, remember you can go back to your vendor dashboard by either clicking on My Account or the bottom right corner menu. Go to Vendor Dashboard. Go to your product here or under the, under the tab Products where it can be listed. If you hover over the details, you can go into Edit. And from there, you can add or delete your categories. If you wanted to take out Thank You, for example, you just need to click on the X. If you wanted to add a location, you just need to click on the locations, look for it, or start keying in the city. But always remember, scroll to the bottom and click on Save Changes. Let's go back and take a look at the home page. We can also do a search for your product. That's always a good test as well. So if I went under Specialties in Food and Drinks, my product should show up right away. Click on the product and continue searching and testing. Make sure the description is the proper description for this product. Check your information about yourself. That concludes how to add gifts to your uh, current account. Thank you for joining us. And see you in the next video.